Uh, so today it's gonna be a hell of a night for me because I'm gonna be introducing Slapped Ham as of today. He uploads way more frequently compared to the other three channels that I have introduced that deals with the horror world or ghost stories or the unexplained supernatural. Uh, but today is Sunday night of when I'm recording. That means as I looked in my subscription page and also went back on a few other channels, Bizarre, Nuke, and Sir Spooked are uploaded. I'm going to be recording Slapped Ham, Sir Spook, Bizarre Bub, and Nukes all tonight. How am I going to do it? I'm going to have the power. I'm going to have this power. Give me the ability to go back to back to back to back to back like I'm Drake because he's been going back to back to back on people. 20 V1 Chris Brown Quavo. That's for another day. But I'm going to enjoy this for the intros, not during the video because TikTok is a no, no, but I need one of these. I'm a dummy. Now I can do it properly. That is delicious. One more taste before I click the video. All right. Ah, oh, I love EP Carrillo. So guys, this is the first time I am doing slapped ham. This man has acquired over 3 million subscribers. That is insane. I mean, he uploads frequently, so that's kind of a cool thing. This is going to be my first time actually exploring his page. I don't know what to expect. It's 11 minutes, way shorter than the typical bizarre or nukes video. So let's just see what type of style he introduces basically to our channel. Today's video is called, Can Anyone Explain This Scary Footage? Let's get into it. How you doing? I'm Callan and this is Slapped Ham. You're about to see some super freaky video clips that no one can quite explain. Okay. So hit that subscribe button and get ready for more creepy This time we actually have a face. Just like this. Which is kind of cool. <laughs> A bizarre video has been posted by the Facebook page Chilling Scary. The footage, captured by a security camera somewhere in China, initially portrays an ordinary city scene. Okay. However, things soon take a turn for the strange. The moped moves on his own. Watching that again, the scooter begins to move. Moped. Moped. Then it violently upends, seemingly all on its own. It's a front flip. It's like playing Happy Wheels. Oh. Yeah. The sheer strength required to execute such a feat surpasses the capabilities of the average person, leaving observers perplexed and unnerved. We With need no more spooky videos. Inside, I just, I'm sorry. Runs rampant. Yeah, that, wh whatever ghost it is requires a lot of strength for it to flip something, especially a moped being like, what? 100 pounds? 80 pounds? I don't know. My brain don't work. This next one comes from the Instagram account Nightmare Vision 7. In the unsettling footage, a mother is seen attempting to engage her young daughter, who appears preoccupied. Watch carefully as something truly eerie transpires. There's something walking by in the background. 
Speculation runs rife as to the nature of this unsettling encounter. Some commenters have said that we're seeing a glimpse at a shadow person, perhaps pretending to be the child's imaginary friend. Mm, uh, I mean... Others, however, think the whole thing's just a hoax. So where do you stand on this unsettling footage? Let me know in the comments down below. Sorry for interrupting you, stopped him. Uh, my brain points out to it maybe just being since the light is coming from the right. Maybe there's another light in the back creating a shadow. Or maybe it is doctored because the shadow is moving the same way as the little girl. It seems like somebody may have flipped the little girl. Obviously, exposure, zero. Saturation, zero. Making it look like a, an actual shadow and just have it follow her but move in a different direction. Maybe add a little bit of blur effect to it so the outside seems like it's a shadow. Because when you add a blur effect on certain things, for example, uh, I'm not going to use that because TikTok would not like that. This. This. Right? When you add a little bit of a blur to this, it seems a little translucent. So, this is my idea. A Spanish TikTok user known as Camille hey. recently shared a video on his account that's left Yo, look at my name. to the bone. In the video, captured by a security camera, an unsuspecting employee enters a room to grab some Oh, towels. it's the... Uh, Orale way. turn, a little eerie. <laughs> he was messing with uh, the savanna, uh, blankets. The employee clearly gets spooked by the, the door opens event. strongly he runs from the scene. I'm trying to translate a little bit of what I've actually so here. Are we seeing something paranormal playing out here or are the other employees just pulling a prank? Watch the clip again and make your own mind up. When it comes to the region of South America, it is highly spiritual. Mexico obviously is part of North America, but since it's south of North America and it's a Spanish country, it kind of equates to the whole spirituality of how South America works. Because I think the only non-Spanish country in well, two non-Spanish country in South America is Portugal and Brazil. I think every other country speaks Spanish. Might be wrong. Don't quote me on that. But even though Brazil and Portugal also has a very strong spirituality aspect to the culture and to the people. And a lot of movies you see, I think with Evil Dead and just a whole bunch of other scary movies or horror movies. Anything that takes place in the whole Mexico scene, obviously there's a yellow tent to Mexican movies for some reason. It's like, like you cross a border and just turns yellow, which is weird. But I digress. They're highly spiritual. Maybe real. Maybe not. But they're a spiritual region. From Mexico and below, it's highly spiritual. Tell me how it is an Asian Once again, continent. the eerie depths of the internet have unveiled a spine-chilling tale, this time courtesy of the Ghosts of London Facebook page. Oh, bro. The photograph, shared by a follower of the page, depicts a scene from inside their grandfather's residence. This is good drunk. By a camera intended for monitoring his well-being. Uh, but, uh, what, However, uh? what was caught in a single frame taken from the feed is unsettling, to say the least. There, in the middle of the room, you can see an ominous dark figure. Oh, it's just It seems to be hovering floating. just above the grandfather's legs, which you can see partly obscured by the lamp in the foreground. Wow. 
So that was caught in a single frame. There was no one else in the house when this was captured. It's almost like... Speculations abound regarding the nature of this mysterious entity, with some daring to suggest a paranormal presence. It's like Lincoln on a penny. That's odd. But that's a single frame, so... Could be doctored. I'd rather see the video than just a damage. A recent TikTok video has ignited a flurry of speculation after capturing a peculiar moment during what was supposed to be a jovial birthday celebration. Is it with the grandma? In the footage, oh. a young girl oh. sits poised in front of her birthday cake, surrounded by friends and family. But as always, something strange is about to take place. Watch. Is that him, like, Australian? The candles mysteriously blow out. Despite the lack of mm. any discernible explanation, a second oh. video corroborates the eerie incident from a different angle. We didn't get a second angle. Ah, we didn't get the second angle. And when she laughed, blow the out. Heck? could it be a mischievous heck? ghost, as many commenters have suggested? I'll leave that up to you to decide. I mean, <laughs> she laughed. <laughs> and there's two flames. Two flames. You see two flames? <laughs> That's look how close she is. Let's see. Let's, let me just try it again. Let me try to make it as far as uh, as it was from her. All right. So I'll say like right there. She smiled and... <laughs> that hurt. I should have never done that. A perplexing video was surfaced on Instagram via the account Squatch Watch One, showing Enormous footage wolf. of a creature that's left viewers bewildered. Take a look. What looks like an enormous wolf strides across the field. Be where there? Bewildered? Bewildered? Speculation As in werewolf? The Beware? Some viewers to suggest that the mysterious creature captured on camera was the Arcanine. Dire wolf. Or Arcanine. Dire wolves, extinct for thousands of years, were formidable predators that once roamed North and South America during the Pleistocene Epoch. These large canids, known for their robust build and fearsome hunting prowess, were apex predators of their time. True. While it's intriguing to entertain the idea of a dire wolf still existing in modern times, the likelihood seems remote. However, the allure of such a possibility adds an extra layer of intrigue to this bizarre footage. It's an Arcanine. Hear me out. It could just be a giant wolf. We have people on this planet, such as the wrestler Gonzalo. I forgot his name or stage name, but I remember on WWE, he was from the 90s. I think it was Gonzalo. He was almost eight feet tall. You have people like the great Kali at 7'2. Kane, Undertaker, Big Show, between 6'10 to 7'1. We live in a time period where there are some people that have the giant gene. There's even individuals out there who has been part of you know, the world's tallest people when it comes to the Guinness World Record. There's been people who have hit 
like seven, nine, eight feet, and so on. I believe there's some person in Nigeria. I don't know, some remote place in Africa. I, I, I got to look into it. You guys can look into it as well. You guys can probably inform me in the comment section, both on there on YouTube or TikTok, that has hit even nine feet. So there is giant genes or giant disformities. Animals could have the same genes. Same how you have these teacup animals, like for dogs. The same way you can have teacups, the same way you can have giant, like Great Danes. Look how big Great Danes are. Maybe there's a gene that makes Great Danes Great Danes. They're not just Danes, they're great. Maybe this wolf was born with a defect that made it bigger. I don't know, it may sound far-fetched, not the Pokemon, but just a thought. Not the bird, but they get the point. Before we take a look at some terrifying home footage captured in the middle of the night, remember to hit that subscribe button, then tickle that little bell icon there and turn on all channel notifications. That way you'll be in the loop every time we drop our scary and creepy videos. Loop. A spine chilling video was recently posted on the Instagram account Haunting Vids. Okay. A couple were home alone one night when they started hearing some strange noises coming from the other side of their house. Flash bang the house. Spooked, they decided to cautiously investigate in case someone was trying to break in. This is what they caught on camera. So is this an intruder caught red-handed or something a little more sinister? Commenters aren't buying the home invasion theory, instead offering a more paranormal take on the situation. Many are saying hey, Mike, that the situation? this is a ghost caught on camera. Uh -huh. uh -huh. Bro, you been. But as always, I'm more okay. interested in what you guys think. Share your theories on this one in the comments down below. Oh, That's like Juan. Not Juan, the Aniro from The Ring. Have you ever heard the chilling tale of the devil's footprints? We took a deep dive on this eerie case over on our second channel, Slapped Ham Mysteries. Here's a little snippet. One chilly February morning in 1855, the residents of Devon, England, awoke to find a bizarre and inexplicable scene. But God, Overnight, a bit of gear! A seemingly endless trail of strange, hoof-like footprints had appeared across the snow-covered landscape. The peculiar prints stretched across several towns and villages, covering an estimated distance of 40 to 100 miles. It sounds like, like perplexing event, like Metal Gear Solid 2, like that Devil's kind of voice acting, continues to captivate. Okay, but a gear riding. We need to go over this direction. Oh my God, yeah. If you want to hear the full, I'm good. All right, slap time is not that bad. They're straight to the point. Not really much of repeating the clip. They repeat it, but not as consistent or like loop it. They're just direct. The seven stories direct might be more stories, but his video seems a little bit more condensed, shorter and straight to the point. I don't mind it. I think they're kind of good for like YouTube shorts. I can make these obviously both TikToks and YouTube shorts. So I think that's kind of cool for the channel to help it grow and stuff like that. I might just leave like slapped ham as his last resort since he is constantly uploading which we would never have no content from him, which is amazing. But since it is short and sweet, I believe what I might just do, I might just take a day where I record like three of his videos and just have those as reserve reactions. If there is a specific one you guys want from Slapped Ham, let me know because it is interesting. He also has other channels. He takes a deep dive into mystery stuff, which I don't mind either. I don't mind watching mystery videos. I'm actually intrigued and interested in that kind of stuff because I live in New Jersey. We have something called the Jersey Devil. 
if he has something on the Jersey Devil, I wouldn't mind watching it. But I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. I'm going to have a long night. As always, guys, until next time, I love your faces. And I'm out. Peace.